Okay, this is a how-to on factorizing, and it's specifically the method of the difference of two squares. So the this is probably the easiest uh, factorization that we can do, and the difficulty arises in just recognizing it. Okay, um, typically we will have a square, something that is squared. So, for example, x squared. 4 is a square number, and we're finding the difference, uh, which means subtract. And uh, if we have something like this, then that means we can factorize it by using the difference of two squares. We start off by putting down two brackets. Which two things that are the same multiply to give x squared? Well, x and x. Which two things are the same that multiply to give 4? 2 and 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And then we have a plus and a minus. Um, Let's do another one, let's say 16y squared minus 81, is this a square number? 16 is a square, we've got y squared which is a squared, 81 is a square number and we're finding the difference, we're subtracting, so put down my two brackets, what two things multiply together to give 16y squared? Well, 4 times 4 is 16 y times y is y squared. What two things multiply together to give 81 that are the same? 9 times 9, put down a positive and a minus. And the last one, let's say 1 minus 100x to the 4. Okay, is this a square number? 1 is a square number. What about 100? Is it a square number? Yes. And what about x to the 4? Is x to the 4 a square number? Yes, it is, because x times x squared times x squared is x to the 4, okay? So x to the 4 is a square number. And are we finding the difference between these? Yes, we are subtracting them. So what two things multiply together to give 1? That are the same. Yep, 1 times 1. What things, what two numbers that are the same multiply together to give 100? That's 10 and 10. And what two things that are the same multiply together to give x to the 4? That would be x squared. And we have a plus and a minus. And we are done. If you have any questions, please ask.